Oh! oh. <laughs> Hello, welcome. You caught me snoozing off. So, I'm gonna wake up in the morning and I'm gonna to turn to my trusty drawer where I keep some of the secrets. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I shouldn't be telling you this, but these are where all the secrets are kept. Good, so let's take a look in the drawer. Let's open the drawer. Oh my God, look at all these. So, over the years, this is a vast collection of Anki cards, flash cards that I use to retain vocabulary. So, for example, there's probably over a thousand different words in here. And I've kept probably every word that I've ever learned in these cards. And every now and then, I'll just dip in, have a quick run through. It takes about five minutes to go through. So, for example, we've got the Japanese written on one side, Shizem, and then on the other side, we have Nature, and what it means in English. So it's very easy, excuse the poor handwriting, but it's very easy to kind of look through the cards, upper arm, you know it. Yes, still got it, baby. So, we've got tons of different things in here. So every day I'll take one and we'll just kind of run through it in the day. And that's how we keep the vocabulary and get better. And also any new words I'm learning, I'll keep that one fresh. So I'm always going back to it. Okay guys, so here I am now on a lunch break, uh, just on the university campus where, where I work. My office is over there, I'm not actually a student. I graduated like four years ago, but now I work anyway. So uh, yes, lunch break, I have my Anki cards with me. Flashcards. So what I'm going to do is, as I'm walking around, I'll just do each word individually, kind of flicking through that kind of uh, the Japanese first, and then I'll go through the whole deck again, but with the English first. And it just really helps, it really helps me retain the information, just solidify everything into my brain. So uh, I'm going to continue my walk right now, keep doing these Anki cards, and I'll come back to you soon with another tip. Okay, so we've continued the walk and I've got a little bit further through. So, another little bit of advice and um, we're kind of practicing these so it doesn't get boring. It's always a good idea to try and make a sentence with the word that you're currently studying as well to help it stick and say that sentence you know, many, many times. So, for example, right now we have homeru, which means to praise. So I would say maybe if we build a sentence like Kino sensei wa yoku homete korimashita. Kino sensei wa yoku homete korimashita. So uh, I received a lot of praise yesterday from the teacher. So and I keep saying that, and in my mind it'll kind of solidify into a pattern. Kino sensei wa yoku homete korimashita. FYI, I didn't get any praise from the teachers yesterday. I got no praise. I never get any praise. I never. Okay, so let's imagine you've come to a word that you really can't remember. You keep going through, but you just can't get it. Try and make a mnemonic like you see in a lot of my lessons. So try and create a story around the word to help you remember. So I know Zenkai means last time. So when Kai is involved in the words, I always imagine a friend called Kai. Um, so I'll think Zen also there. So Zen is pretty like, I don't know, is it Buddhist or something? Like oh, Zen, very peaceful, very calm. So. I think of my friend Kai being very zen the last time that we met. So I think Zen Kai, oh my god, last time, yes, I was correct. Okay, so that concludes the outdoor session today. It's been lovely and cold. I've enjoyed the walk and the study session. My mind is buzzing and full of information. And uh, yeah, we're going to go back to my house now. And we're going to go back to the room where I do all the studying. The Udon Lab. Let's call it the Udon Lab. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the Udon Lab in three, two, one. Okay, we're back in the Udon Zone. So, basically, I wanted to show you, lastly, uh, that it's not all about the physical cards. You can also get this kind of thing on computer, on your phones as well. So let's take a look at what's going on over here. Okay, okay. <sighs> So as you can see, doing a bit of Udon editing right now, but what we want to see is this, the tips, the tricks, the Anki. So this is called Anki. Uh, it's something you can download for PC or Mac. It's really cool. So you can get, you've got these decks here, so you can add in decks. 
So at the moment I've got vocabulary and I've also got some sentences as well. So click on the vocabulary and uh, kind of get 20 a day. You can set limits yourself. So we've got Kawasu, Kawasu. I think that's dodge. Yes, I was correct. So now I will select here that I got that pretty good. So I'll say easy. So in four days, it will now test me again. So really memory apps and physical flashcards have been the building block to my Japanese knowledge and, and they really, really helped me when it comes to reading, grammar and other things because having a big vocabulary is so important and it makes everything else a lot easier. And I think that doing that is the best way to maintain and it's something you can jump into, jump out of quickly whenever you need to. I think that you should get going with that as well yourself as soon as possible if you're not already doing it. And if you've got any questions, just let me know. Okay guys, bye-bye. うどん教室へようこそ。始めるぞ。え？いいんかな？こんな。こう。